All right, I'm just going to cut right to the sandwich here, okay? Mm -hmm. You read the title. You know what you're getting into. Oh, you know. So I'm going to give you one last chance to back out in case you accidentally clicked on this or, you know, just for giggles or whatever. Allow me to uh, remind you again, this vi ASMR video is for college students only, not future college students, not past college students, present college students. Now, the one moment's fine, GED's fine, online's fine, just as long as you're currently enrolled and participating in class parentheses S at any college or university. On Earth. Wait, I shouldn't be doing that with the cup. No, 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 no. You haven't been qualified. You haven't been cleared for college level tingles. Oh yeah, maybe you've uh, maybe you've done this kind of thing in K through 12, but I know college level tingles. Well, it's a whole other level of difficulty here. Speaking of which, in order to determine whether to continue or not, you know, with this video for you, I have devised a questionnaire made specifically to determine whether or not you are a, indeed, a college student. Your answers to these questions will be the determining factor for that. And it will be administered via this Doodle Pro Magna Doodle. So I have 10 questions here. You must answer them in complete sentences to the best of your ability. Begin. Question one. If you could be any household appliance, what would it be? another 2.048 miles yesterday, then how many miles did Chemistry Steve go to travel to the nearest supermarket in the Uncle Gary station from his home planet over the course of the last two days? Now, I'm not going to repeat the question. That was way too long. Please just answer it to the best of your ability. I don't know and I have no idea are not acceptable answers. You gotta give me something I can work with here, okay? You sure about that one? Okay. Fine, I'll put that if you really want. Question three. If you could be eaten by any flavor of ice cream, which one would you choose and why? Excuse me? Nothing, nothing. It's just, um, it's just an interesting choice. Fair enough. Question four. What is the primary difference between an African elephant and an Asian elephant? Question five. 
Question five. Would you rather go to bed or go to bread? I said, would you rather go to bed or go to bread? J just answer the question, okay? Um, that's not a complete sentence. You need an answer in a complete sentence. All right. I would rather go to Question number six. Where does the comma belong in this sentence? And I'm only using even the arc at the up regional. No, I'm not going to repeat that. Where does the comma go? Between which two? Are you familiar with this language? Wow, okay, well, fine, I'll put that down, but jeez. Alright. Question number seven. What's up with sports? Hey, I don't write the questions, okay? I just, I'm just, I just collect the answers. Yeah, the question is what's up with sports? So, just answer that in a, in a, in a sentence. Okay, here's a big one. Question eight. What is your favorite song? I, uh, I don't believe I know that one. You sure you don't want to pick something else? I said, are you sure you don't want to pick something else? <laughs> okay, wow. Must really like this song, huh? Oh, fine, I'll put it. Consequences are on you. Yeah, taste. Another one of those. Okay, uh, question nine. Judging by my appearance, where do you think I'm from? Excuse me? I do not look like that at all, and I take that as a personal insult. You know, you should be ashamed of yourself. Okay, so... My apologies, I'm assigned to control my temper. It's not my place to judge. If that is your honest opinion, then... <sighs> Just sad. Uh, uneducated. I can't believe I'm writing this. Great. Alright, the final question. Question 10. Would you like to answer another question? That, that's the question. No, it can't be a word. It has to be a sentence. All right. Mm -hmm. Because... Okay, we just review your answers here to determine your eligibility for college-level tingle placement.
scored a 7 out of 10. 70%. Just enough. Congratulations, you pass. Alright, let's get on with it, shall we? Oh, what? What's that? The tie? Look like a what? An agent? What, like an FBI agent? I... IDC... The blast is that? No idea what you're talking about. Um, just call it coincidence? I mean, what, two, two people can't have the same tie? Is that what you're saying? It's fine, I'll take it off. I'll take these off, too. Inside. Actually, no. Okay. Alright, so we're going to start things off with some, uh, some relaxing hand movements. I don't have any gloves with me right now, but, uh... That'll do it for the hand movements. You can go ahead and uh, um, put your screen facing towards the ground. So, uh, yeah, just hope you're wearing headphones. Okay, so this is the official college backpack of ASMR. First, let's just appreciate the backpack itself. in the first pouch here. Oh, yes, very important. We've got some pencils here. These are multi-purpose. 
they can be used as writing utensils, and writing tools, you know, um, for note-taking, um, journal entries, remembering things, uh, etc. Or they can be used as matchsticks in the event that, for whatever reason, you are stranded in the wilderness and will be stranded there for an undetermined amount of time. And you really need fire. If you continue this motion for approximately 2 hours, 37 minutes, and 41 seconds, you will have yourself a fire. These also can be used as drumsticks. Just like so. What else we have here? Spare sunglasses, these are very important. Every college student, uh, every self-respecting college student keeps at least two pairs of sunglasses on their person at any given time to add to the facade. to be empty. I suppose that we favor some What we have here in the third pouch, the largest sounds of 1,266 pages of English literature. pretty much yet to be read. Backpack is the appropriate place to store textbooks. There should also be a notebook in here. There's not for this one, but oh, actually there is. It's just full. Okay, I'm not going to be sharing those contents with you. What are the reasons? There's some uh, printed out some. Um, Supplies here, syllabuses, course schedules, assignment instructions, uh, things of that sort. The papers, things like that. 
A wallet. Yes, every self-respecting uh, college student carries a wallet. This just so happens to be the um, Mickey Mouse Velcro. And it is the perfect place to store cash, credit cards, gift cards, checks, student IDs, library cards. Driver's licenses, the like, any other rectangular shaped plastic or paper objects that you intend to flashily show off to your peers or professors. Yeah. Okay, well, oops. an example. Random backpack so it does not have class the following day. So I'll walk you through some of the items that you will need to grab in the event that you have class on a particular day. So I'll be right back with some of those items. Okay, first up we have. Just make sure there's not anything on here. Okay. First up we have this. You know what this is? Guess. It is a Scantron. Most college students are familiar with these. Um, these are used in at least half of college courses, at least in North America. Um, they are formatted to be universally equipped for multiple choice uh, quizzes that the student fills out a letter of the question that they believe to be the answer to the question. They have the quiz right alongside them, telling them which questions are which numbers. And then the, at the end of the exam, the scantrons are handed into the professor, where they are fed through a machine, which is custom tailored to the specific exam, and grades each of the questions individually. So, that's what that is. Let's see what else there is. We've got a laptop here. This is uh, the appropriate hardware for such things as PowerPoint presentations, which I'm sure most college students are familiar with, as well as accessing things like Microsoft Word, documents, you know, YouTube, other websites that I'm not going to specifically mention, you know, things of that sort. is also multi-purpose because it can also act as a puppet. This is the mouth. Sorry, those laptop tingles. It's also very, uh, can also be a very important tool to uh, avoid a conversation or a distraction or just seem like a respectable person by going into, say, a student lounge or a snack bar and whipping out the laptop on the table and, um, you know, um, pretending to be doing something important or have something on the screen that looks like it could be related to college, but actually is not at all. Um, you know, so, you know, you can be writing an email and, you know, People can think it's a, something, an email to your professor or something like that, but no, it's not, you know, things of that sort.
also have a pair of headphones and a cellular charger, which show those to you, but they are too fragile to be transported excessively, so they have them. It's very important um, to bring. You never know. Um, you're going to need either of those. I would also advise bringing, um, you know, mints or lifesavers, Listerine strips, or some similar products. I don't have any with me here right now. Not sure they, um, let's think other universal, you know, products or color students. Um, well, let's get into some of the things that are optional. This is a water cup. I know it says lemonade on it. That is to intentionally be deceptive, to be rebellious, and to get one over on the average Joe, who's drinking a cup of Joe. But I've never really been a fan of cannibalisms, you know. It's a water cup. Um, not all college campuses have cups, so it's a good idea to uh, bring your own. And um, fill it some places charge for them, so no idea. fill it up with water fountains and it's a good idea to bring a lid and a straw as well. So it's contained and you know, it could also be anything as far as everyone else is concerned. Uh, what else? So, you know, you can bring a portable guitar in case you want to bust out a um, tasty lick if you, you know, happen to master the basics of guitars, you know, the, the um, core chords and, um, you know, key principles and things like that. Um, I'm working on getting a amplifier that would be the appropriate size to plug into this. I've not been able to find one yet, but, you know, well, soon. Um, it's nice, it's pocket-sized. It can fit into, you know, a pouch, a, a pocket, a, a bag, a, backpack, uh, things like that, so, you know, you can bring this, really impress your peers, oh, what else, um, I would advise bringing some snacks, I usually go with the raisins, because, um, raisins are simply grapes dried naturally in the sun. The American Heart Association recommends eating eight or more servings of fruits and vegetables per day. So yeah, that, that, that really sums it up. Um, what else? <laughs> Speaking of electronics, this, this is a sharper image virtual reality headset. Um, so, you know, you can just picture yourself uh, in class, you know, particularly boring class. And, you know, you got your, your phone with you, and, uh, you know, um, you can just casually, you know, uh, pull it out. It's, um, it's, it's relatively discreet, actually. So, I'll uh, just you know, blend right in. You can uh, just apply the goggles and there's a strap somewhere. Upside down. Um, just put on the goggles like so and then the strap just around your head and your cellular device goes in this pouch here. And then, um, you know, you just move your, swing your arms from side to side, take one step, and then again, you know, move your head around to uh, look in the games. And, you know, it's very, um, it's very, uh, 
covert, you know, it's very discreet, so, you know, doesn't attract any attention, you just blend right in, because it's what all the cool kids are doing nowadays, so I'm sure, you know, half your classmates will probably have the same idea, but, you know, you'll just be the one who's old enough to actually do it, because you know, we all know everybody wants to, everybody, everybody, uh, really wants to shop her image. <laughs> and what else do we have here? Um, so I have her. This is my personal um, luck charm. It's a wooden owl. So, you know, the more attention you give him, Pangs, spilkings of the feathers, watering. They really love the, it's the water. You just gotta, you just gotta pour a little, you know, water. Yeah, you know, and um, you know, just um, just like a little bit of this before an exam, you know. Guaranteed A, automatic A, you know, so luck charms can be different for every people. For some people, it's a statue of Cthulhu or a plastic garden gnome or a piece of jewelry or something. So, um, you want to bring a luck charm if you can. Um, I also have this. You don't judge, by the way. I've got this play dough from, I believe. 2006, I'm not sure. It's basically a rock. Um, you know, it's, as you can see, it's, it's very moldable. You can, it's, uh, it's very soft and can be, it's basically you know, clay, you know, it can be, you gotta watch yourself, you can cut yourself on this. I see why it's not for ages three and under. Um, but yeah, you can make all kinds of stuff with it. Like, like look at this shape. Like, what is this, you know? So, it's, it's really cool. It gives you something to do. Um, you can bring some chewing gum if you'd like. Um, it's been proven to improve memory. And it also gives your mouth something to do. And this can give your hands something to do. So just bring something to keep your mouth and your hands busy. you be set. Uh, what else? I have this, um, this grabber, you know, in case you drop something, like suppose you're, uh, suppose you're taking notes in, in class and you, you know, your, your pencil that you're writing with falls to the floor so easy, you know, while you're sitting in your chair, you can just, you know, uh, alright, let's, let's simulate that, let's get a pencil, it's a colored pencil, but it will do, so, you know, you're, uh, you're writing, you're writing something, Oh no, if you dropped your pencil. Well, look. You just, you know, get this out, which, you know, I assume you have it on the floor. So you just reach down to the floor to grab your grabber to grab the pencil, which is all the way on the floor. So, yeah, reach up and take it. And, um, not quite, not quite. Um, put it again. Put it just right. And voila, and then just grab the pencil. And it's as if nothing ever happened. So again, very covert, very discreet. You know, it's a really clever um, move. You know, a lot of, a lot of people, and you know, a lot of your classmates gonna be like, oh, you know, like, smart idea. So, you're gonna thank me for that one. <laughs> Trust me. All right, anything else? Well, um, that's probably all the items I have with me here. 
but you know there are some other things you could you could bring with you. Um, this one's called Nature. Got some time left, so let's uh, make some sounds. Make a little crinkle solo here. for a tapping so you can do slow tapping So I have some water sounds as an added bonus. Sounds of moving water. Sounds of drinking water. Oh, wrong cup, sorry. Um this one. This one's the And remember, stay in school, just not after 9 o'clock, or else security may arrest you for trespassing after hours. Okay, well, that'll do it. And, you know, this, this is something I should have said at the beginning, but you know, finally, it's about bloody time that College students get their own dedicated ASMR video. Amateur as it may be, it's still... It's the title that counts. So, that we can do. And...
Good. 